Bush here of EM All Access, and we're in San Francisco at EMS 2015. Today I talked with Google's Derek Jang about how Google creates VIP experiences through technology at their events. Let's listen in to the interview. Derek, thank you so much for talking with us. Um, for we're here in your hometown, San Francisco. We, we certainly are. I actually live just down the street, so that's, it wasn't too much of a hike to get that's here. Good. <laughs> good. Google's an iconic brand today, major technology company. Uh, but you do some amazing things in events uh, with what we might you know, consider these sort of goosebump moments, the big, <laughs> crazy, awesome stunts and things. Um, what, what do you think about that as, as part of your creative process and coming up with how you design events? Yeah, I mean, it's a great question. I think, you know, with Google, there's always an expectation, like, what is, gonna, what is Google going to do next? You yes. know, we had someone jump out of a plane and, right. you know, land on Moscone. Uh -huh. um, and so trying to one-up that year after year is, is definitely a, uh, a hard problem to solve. Mm -hmm. I would say that, for the most part, we really rely on our, on our agency partners mm -hmm. to, to kind of come up with really cool ways to bring the Google brand to life. And you work on more on the business-to-business -business side. I do, I do. AdWords. Yes. So um, our marquee event is the AdWords Performance Forum. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's an event where we invite about 200 of our top advertising uh, partners over to the Ritz-Carlton and Half Moon Bay. Um, and it's interesting because this event is just as much for our attendees as it is for us. Um, and I think that's one of the ways in which um, VIP events have kind of changed a little bit over the last couple of years, is that, um, you know, we invite our top customers, who also happen to be uh, our heaviest users uh, of our products, over to come and meet with our Google execs and talk to the people who build the products and give us invaluable insight into what is working, what's not working, so we can adjust our product plans um, according, to that in, according to that data. Um, I think what's, what's interesting, too, is it's also an opportunity for us to show them, our top customers, some love. Yeah. Wine and dine them a little bit, mm -hmm. give them some inside information into what we're planning. Um, so it's, it's very much a symbiotic relationship between us and our top customers for these events. So, so these people, there's not that many of them, as you say, you're spending a lot of money on them. Um, <laughs> what do you get back? Other, you, you said you get data? <laughs> yes, we get data, um, and I think that, that really is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you build a, a an advertising platform that needs to be used by hundreds of thousands of businesses um, all over the world, um, we want to make sure that we're building it with the right features. And, and we think that if we build it right for our top customers and heaviest users, the feature set that, um, that they use will, will translate well for all types of businesses, big and small. Hmm. And how do you personalize an event like that for those 200 people, since it is so small, I'm sure there's the touches that you, you do. Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, so we actually use a lot of data, both collected during the event as well as pre-event, mm -hmm. to kind of um, influence how we're going to make these specific touch points very personal to all of the attendees. So for instance, uh, Jerry Dishler, who's our VP of Product Management for AdWords, um, actually sent a personalized welcome note to every single uh, attendee. So we actually gave everyone a Nexus 7 tablet, yes. and as they opened it, uh, a personalized video kind of welcoming them to the event popped up. And I think that's it's just really nice because you can do those kinds of things with just 200 people. Exactly. Yeah. And when you say a personalized message, did he, he typed out these messages personally? So or? it's actually a video <laughs> message. Oh, so, a video yeah, message. so he actually yeah. said, you know, hi, John, thank yes. you so much, you know, for, for your partnership. Uh, you know, your company X has, has helped us in these invaluable ways. And so everything was literally personalized for the attendee. That's fantastic. Yeah, it was great. How do you feel technology plays into your event? I mean, do you, do you use it as a case study, or are you really using the technology to make the event better? Um, you know, I think it's a bit of both. So I think you know, using it as a case study is interesting because at events, I think it's, it's our opportunity to remind customers why they're doing business with us. And so we have to like wow them and show them all the ways that we're kind of on the bleeding edge of technology and why we should continue to be their preferred partner. Um, I think during the event, there's tons of exciting things happening in the world of technology today, from things like NFC and beacons um, to, you know, even even having our own kind of demos like uh, the, the driverless car, Google Cardboard, and, and previously Google Glass. Um, I think, yeah, I think it's it's really really important to kind of make technology a center point of the event, especially a company like Google, where you know we're known for that kind of stuff. Um, I think it's super important to have. And you know that your audience 
our technology users exactly. to begin with, right? <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. And they're going to come in with their own technology. I think it's bold to actually give people tablets to somebody that might have something else. You're, you're, you're making a statement. Here, here you go. Use this one today. But well, you know, it's all about yeah. sharing kind of the yeah. magic of Google with yeah. with um, with our partners. And yeah. so, you know, we're we're super proud of of the stuff that we put out there. And so, you know, if we can get it into the hands of people who um, who might want it, then I say why not? Well, cool. Yeah. Well, you're doing great stuff. I can't wait to see what you do to come up with topping jumping out of airplanes because uh, <laughs> you said you set the bar high for yourself. We you said it for everyone else too, because <laughs> we tried to emulate that in some of my in some of my events. It's tough. So good job and keep up the good work. Well thank you. Thanks very for much. talking to us. Yeah, thanks so thank much. Thank you.